coming up on Pepsi Sports Saturday. I still don't know if it's sunk in or not. I don't even know what that's going to feel like when it does sink in. Olympic gold medalist Kyle Snyder joins us live in studio as he's just returned from Rio. And we're a week away from the Buckeyes kicking off the 2016 season. Hear from those leading the charge coming up. And week one of Football Friday Night in the books, we bring you our favorite moments. That's next. NBC4 presents the Pepsi Sports Saturday Show. Brought to you in part by NBC4, Pepsi, and The Basement Doctor. Welcome to Pepsi Sports Saturday. It's hard to appropriately introduce our guest, but we'll try. The 2015 world champion, the 2016 NCAA champion for Ohio State, and now Olympic gold medalist Kyle Snyder. Kyle, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Great guys. to have you in studio. Yeah, there's a lot of different titles you have now and certainly more to come in the future. At just 20 years old, I might add, you are the youngest American wrestler to ever win gold, as we've said time and time again, and the first active Ohio State student to compete in the Olympics since Jerry Lucas in 1960 did it for the Buckeyes. You're checking off a lot of boxes here <laughs> in, yeah. this, uh, in this short span. Uh, you just stepped off the plane yesterday. We saw it. I was there at the airport. Does it feel any different coming back knowing that you've checked off another box on the list? It feels a little bit different just going around campus now. Um, a lot more people are stopping me to shake my hand and they're like, hey, are you, are you that Olympic wrestler kid? And I was like, yep, yeah, that's me. I, just, I was just at the grocery store a couple minutes ago and one of the guys stopped me to say congrats. So a lot more people know me, but um, for the most part, other than that, it's just typical coming back after a wrestling tournament, but a lot more people know me here. How many pictures have you taken with fans since you got off the plane yesterday, would you estimate? Um, I'd probably say about 10 pictures. Only 10? Yeah, I haven't been out that much. I've just, I've been in my apartment really because I was tired yesterday after the flight, so. 14 hours of traveling, right, from Rio? Yeah. Yep. I think you're allowed to be tired. Yeah. 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 And we were all back here watching so intense, like, like everybody in, on Twitter and watching online and take us through that match, the gold medal match, everything that was going through your head. Like, can you remember it? Take us through that. Yeah, first I just want to say thank you guys for watching and thank everybody else who watched. I got all your tweets and texts. It really means a lot to me. And I um, mean, the finals match, I wrestled that guy from Azerbaijan about a month and a half before the Olympics and he beat me two to one. So. I was able to kind of turn the tables on him. And I got a good feel for him at that tournament uh, in Germany when I wrestled him. So then in the Olympic Games, it was a little bit different. I was able to score on him early and then keep that lead. We talk a lot about you hear a quarterback in the NFL, they want to win a Super Bowl. You know, in certain sports, people want to do different things. What's your thing? What is the thing? You've already got the gold medal. Was that it of you? What's next? And was that the box you wanted to check off as I keep using that cliche that we're talking about? <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely, it's nice getting the accolades. It's nice getting the gold medals and winning tournaments. But the thing that I aspire to the most is just, I mean, I want to be the best wrestler that's ever stepped on a wrestling mat. Not, and that doesn't mean that I win every tournament from now on. That just means the way that I wrestle and the way that people see me wrestle, um, they think when, I, when I'm on the mat, wow, this is the best person we've ever seen in the history of the sport. So with that being said, uh, I still got a lot that I can get better at. So haven't, haven't checked off all the boxes. <laughs> right, and you had some time leading up. You wrestled near the end of the Olympics. The leading up, was it difficult? You're in this cool place. You're in Olympic Village. I'm sure you had a little extra free time. Was it difficult to kind of stay focused and stay on the path? So we were only in the Olympic Village for four days. So we stayed at the Olympic Village for the first four days of the games. Then we went to a private American training complex called Low Near Training Facility. And that was only for the U.S. combat sports. So it was actually really easy to focus there. If I was in the village, it probably went a, bit a, a little bit harder because my roommate was actually my, not my roommate, but the door next to me was Serena Williams. Oh, wow. So it was kind of oh crazy. Gosh. Yeah, it was kind of crazy, like, opening up the door. I was like, oh, what's up, Serena? How you doing? <laughs> so it might have been harder to focus there, but at the training facility, it was easy to train and easy to get ready for the competition. Did you hang out with Serena at all? Right. Not much. <laughs> just saying hi and, you know, met her and talked to her for a second, but we didn't hang out, really. <laughs> well, what other athletes did you, like, meet or encounter down there? I met... Uh, the basketball team, the USA basketball team, that was cool. 
Um, met Gabby Douglas and Allie Raisman. You meet a lot of people just because of, you know, the Olympic Village and stuff like that. I never, I wanted to meet Usain Bolt really bad, but I never got to see him. Um, and that's all that's coming to my head right now. <laughs> yeah, and talk to us a little bit about even leading up to the games. The, at Ohio State, that gym that you guys train in, I mean, the elite athletes. Talk to us about that process and how that helped prepare you for these games. Definitely. Ohio State and Coach Ryan, Coach Lou Roselli have done everything that they possibly could to make sure I have the partners and I'm in the training environment that I need uh, to become the best wrestler I can be. And I think that's a, it's a testament to my training partners when, some, when somebody from our room accomplishes something. It's a huge testament to all the training partners that we have and the coaches because definitely wouldn't have done it without them. And obviously everyone has to do it, but going from Ohio State where you're used to training to having to go down there, go in these new facilities, everyone had to do it. But did it take you at all out of your comfort zone and did that help or at all kind of hold you back a little? Did that change knowing that you were going to a different environment for that amount of time? Well, one of the coaches from the Olympic Training Center on my, when I was in high school, my first overseas trip, he told me that, he said, blessed are the flexible for they shall not be bent out of shape. So I just kind of live by that motto, wherever I go, if I don't have what I need, then, I mean, gotta be flexible and use the stuff that you have and be positive about the situation, and just be happy, be there, be able to train and compete. And now your brother was th with you there at the airport. He's back. He's wrestling at Ohio State. Yep. Talk to us a little bit about now what's next for the two of you being back home now. Well, him, he's got a lot of hard running to do. I'll be just, <laughs> I'll be cheering him on from the sidelines. But, uh, I mean, yeah, he's got preseason, and I'll just be relaxing and lifting and kind of getting back into it a little bit slower than he is. But kind of both going to be doing the same thing, wrestling, wrestling together and trying to improve. And what is that like for you, you know, having your brother now on the team, the two of you? It's fun, he's one of my best friends, so I love hanging out with him. Um, and it's nice uh, being able to share all these moments together. We're gonna ask some quick fire questions to you here at the end. So before off camera, we we're talking about, we know you're a big Game of Thrones fan. Oh yeah. We, yeah just we, like me. <laughs> yes, both of you, apparently I'm the only one yeah, who you're doesn't the watch Game out. of Thrones. I couldn't <laughs> participate in the conversation. LeBron in the final said he watched The Godfather to get ready. Do you watch any sort of movies or music leading up to big events to get you ready for stuff? I do, I, I don't really listen to music. I don't, or really watch any movies to get me ready. My high school coach, Coach told me uh, a lion doesn't listen to music before he hunts. So I typically just wow. go out there and wrestle. You got a lot of good quotes coming. <laughs> yeah, you do. You got a lot of good you quotes. Do. All right, we know you're an Ohio State fan. Other professional favorite sporting team? Washington Redskins, uh, Washington Capitals, hockey, baseball. I'm Nats Nationals. Rose? Nationals. Okay. I would say I'm a Nationals fan. Just stick with the Washington theme. And basketball, uh, Cavs, baby. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I'm a little bit of a fair weather fan, but I love LeBron, so he's a beast. Absolutely. And yeah. you're from Maryland, which is where the Washington ties come in, but we will accept you too. Well, you're an honorary Ohioan to all of us now too, so you can root for any of these teams as well. Thank you yeah. very much. And you brought your gold medal with yep. us. Can we Lots hold it here? Yeah, like, sure. uh, wow, that is heavy. Is it heavy? Yeah. How much? Did they tell you how much it weighs? It's 1.1 pounds. Okay. That's what they say it weighs. This is, I'm going to start lifting with this, and before know, right? long, I'll be just as big <laughs> as Kyle. Yes, and they're doing a special um, welcome home for all of you Olympians at Ohio State yep. this Monday. Yep. What's that going to be like for you? Jared Smalley is actually going to be emceeing the event, yeah. so you'll get to see him and all the Olympians. What's that going to be like for you? It's going to be really cool, I think, to meet the other Olympians because I haven't met any of the other Ohio State Olympians yet. I think most of them represented different countries. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be really cool to meet them and talk about their experience. And then also just excited to see all the fans or whoever comes um, and talk to them as well. Well, we'll be there too. Thank you. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Kyle, thanks for coming on. Still has two years of eligibility to Ohio State, right? Yep. So your time here in the Big Ten and adding to that Ohio State trophy case, certainly not done either. We appreciate you coming on. We can't wait to watch it going forward. Thank you guys so much.
been fun. All right. Uh, still ahead on the show, one week from today, the Buckeyes' home opener. We'll introduce you to a couple of the newly named captains 